This next fly that I'm going to tie is the Baby Brown, an original and published pattern. The hook is a Mustad C525 BLN Stinger size 1. The thread I'm using is Semperfly Nano Silk 6 aught and 18 aught white. Start the 6 aught thread behind the eye right where the head will meet the body and trim the tag. Wrap the thread along the body so it's even with the hook point. Whip finish and move it aside. Wrap the 18 aught thread on top of the previous wrap and add the flat embossed silver tinsel. Split the thread, wax and add the gold ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister double over the thread and spin to secure the dubbing. Brush out the dubbing and wrap it forward edge to edge along the threaded area of the hook. Secure and trim the excess. Measure a section of the light brown mottled rabbit strip on top of the hook and trim. Trim the hide flush with the fur. Cut the strip on a taper. Make sure the fur is off to one side of the hide before you trim. Trim the thickness of the hide using curved scissors. Note, by preparing the rabbit strip this way, it will give the fly more lifelike action in the water. Secure the wing by the tip in front of the dubbing. Whip finish and trim. Next, move the flat tinsel out of the way and brush out the dubbing out of the way of the 6 aught thread. Pull the rabbit strip back and separate the fibers even with the thread. Secure the thread around the strip and hook. Whip finish and trim. Wrap the flat tinsel along the body and rabbit strip, Matuka style, using the bodkin to separate the fibers. Secure and trim the excess. Brush out the wing and the dubbing.
Next, split the thread, wax, and add the light brown fox fur. Trim away excess fur. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread, around the hook, and spin to secure the fur. Brush out the fur, remove the dubbing twister, and attach hackle plier. Wrap the fur in front of the rabbit strip edge to edge, pulling the fibers back with your fingers to make the collar. Secure, trim the tag, and whip finish. Next is the throat. Take a small section of yellow and orange dyed rabbit strip and secure it under the hook tight to the collar and trim the hide. Next, add the modeled hen neck tips for the gills, both left and right. Double over the stems on each feather and secure and trim the excess. Next, wrap the lead wire around the collar and gills to keep them out of the way. Next is the glow bug yarn for the head. Cut out three segments and split each segment into four pieces. Tie in the first two pieces for each side of the head, left and right then two pieces for the top and bottom of the same wrap and secure. Pull all the fibers back, secure the thread in front of the yarn and repeat this step to the eye. Use a hair packer to compress the yarn and clear the eye. Secure, whip finish, trim, and add head cement. Next, take the botkin and separate the yarn away from the rest of the fly. Comb out the yarn so the fibers are at a right angle to the hook. Use scissors on blade to trim the yarn flat, left and right of the head. Then use curved scissors to trim the top and bottom into a taper. Next, use a lighter to touch up any high spots on the head. Use the heat from the flame to do this. Undo the lead wire, touch up around the eye of the hook. Next, remove the fly from the vise. Add your par markings using permanent marker in brown and red on each side of the rabbit strip wing. Place the fly back on the vise and color the top of the head with brown marker. Next, add five minute epoxy in the middle on each side of the head. Let it soak in a bit, then add a second dab. Attach the eyes. This will anchor the eyes to the head. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more advanced fly tying techniques. Thank you.